O and you know what? I pro probably should have picked a better place for the camera because <laughs> I don't have a good place to stand in front of it. I'm standing on rocks. On even rocks. I don't know if this is just a video log or if I could call it Neo Retro News. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog is an old video game character, so it would be fair to call him Retro. Ah, uh, Neo Retro News. I mean, it is kind of new stuff, the Neo part, uh, comic books. But then again, I'm just kind of vlogging about the whole thing, too. So I'll, de I'll decide what this is later. But I figured I'd do another video. Find a better spot to stay there. Yeah, is that better? I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'll figure out what type of video this is, if it's just a video log or Neo Retro News later. But I'm just going to talk into the camera about Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Because I was just looking up news on them a little bit ago. And even news that I thought I had found out in the past, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to find information on it. Probably because there is almost nothing, but people seem to be incredibly curious about it. I thought I read something, but then I couldn't find the article when I went looking for it today about, I believe his name was Scott Phillip, Scott Phillip. Uh, I think he created the Conservation Corps who crossed over with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he wrote for the Sonic the Hedgehog comics. I thought I heard that, uh, in, assumably inspired by Ken Penders, he decided to sue Archie Comics over their use of some of his characters. Uh, yeah, uh, as for the Ken Penders thing in the past, well... I can see how any comic book creator, including Ken Penders, would want to protect his creations and want to call them his own. So I could kind of agree with him, but I tend to lean more towards the idea that Archie Comics should be free to use those characters. I, feel, I personally believe they both should be free to use those characters, both sides of that issue. But for the most part, I more so agree with Archie than anybody. But I fully understand why Archie did a semi-reboot, which I didn't consider to be a real reboot. It was a DC Comics-style, universe-shaking event that uh, I actually didn't mind because it kept a fair bit of the old continuity. Uh, and I believe they... I, I, I don't really know what they could do with it, but I believe they could do interesting things with it. And it did keep enough of the old continuity for me to remain interested. And yeah, this is a nice place to do a video, isn't it? Um... But yeah, Scott Phillip was supposedly suing Archie Comics. If I read that article correct, and earlier today when I went looking for it, I couldn't find it. Uh, rumor was Archie Comics was finally going to come forward with some word on what's going on, but they didn't. Most people think the comic is cancelled. I think most people think Archie would be crazy to lose the comic, but then again, they're also crazy to lose Mega Man. And I was hoping they'd bring back Mega Man. It was only officially on hiatus, not actually cancelled. And Sonic the Hedgehog isn't officially cancelled, it's just delayed. Uh, <laughs> but I'd say like Mega Man, we're at serious risk of not seeing any more Sonic comics. But I'm hoping Sega and Archie straighten things out. I could understand why Sega would want more money, considering the harm that these lawsuits were doing to the brand name of Sonic the Hedgehog, or the lawsuits causing trouble, whatever. I could understand Archie being a little apathetic about fighting for something that's merely a license, but Archie really should fight for that. I mean, uh, I don't hate Archie Comics, but Archie Comics and their history with Sonic the Hedgehog, that's something they actually should protect. And they should have been fighting to keep Mega Man. I mean, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and if, if this comic slips through Archie's fingers, I hope another publisher, IDW, would probably be perfect. Uh, I'd rather it stayed with Archie myself, but IDW, if they could continue the series, continue the storyline, and continue the numbering, they'd at least be doing something to preserve the history that that comic had created. And that's something I would hope for. And also, in the UK, the United Kingdom, there was a Sonic comic that went for a very long time. It's kind of disappointing that that came to an end, considering the long history of it. I'm not that familiar with it. I'd kind of like it if somebody would get the rights to reprint that. Because I remember looking into ordering old issues of it off eBay, and I actually found it hard to find. Maybe it's easy to find, and that was just a fluke that I couldn't find at that time. But, yeah, I'm hoping that in the future something gets done to continue and protect the Sonic the Hedgehog comics. I did another video talking about this already. I even joked about some of the censorship issues Sonic the Hedgehog has dealt with, you know, because... 
Sally Acorn was deemed too sexy by people who were frowning upon her appearance in the cartoon, and they gave her a vest, and, uh, you know, I, I joke about that in a previous video talking about this, so, you know, look, feel free to look for that video, there's more content there, and everything's still unresolved, I just wanted to comment on that, that it's still unresolved, nobody has come forward and said the comic is cancelled, so they must be still hoping to negotiate something, uh, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully they will negotiate something, but it does look like the comic's most likely cancelled. Issues of it have been officially cancelled from release, but though, though those, they still could be, re, they still could come back later. Uh, and the series itself as a series has not been officially cancelled yet. At least not as I'm saying that, for all I know there could be something up on the internet right now. Or perhaps there was something published earlier today and I just couldn't find it when I did a Google search. I don't know. But anyway, let's hope that Sonic Comics... Alright, looks like the video ended right there on the spot. Uh, ab abruptly. Uh, yeah, that was due to technical error, the, the camera problems. But that said, um, I was about to end the video anyway. And I... I think it would be great if you checked out more videos I've done. That video was pretty much to the end. Um, the Conservation Corps. Uh, I'm not sure why I accidentally thought they were created by Scott Fulop. Uh, perhaps because uh, Scott Shaw did the cover art for it, and I was just that just that just popped into my mind. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much done with this video. There's not anything else for me to say uh, other than feel free to check out some other videos of mine. I've talked about this subject before and many other subjects. If you're watching this on YouTube, yeah, click thumbs up. But there's not much left for me to say. Bye.